This is an unboxing of a Skywatcher uh, SWA 22mm 70 degrees eyepiece. I think there is another item in this, so I'll just open it, see what is inside. Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, I ordered this from the uh, company called Northern o o Optics in the north of England. Uh, the eyepiece I got it from them is £55. Elsewhere is £99. In the eBay is £99.5. You cannot find it even nowadays. It's because of the coronavirus, everything is now, the prices have shooted up. And everything is selling without having anything replaced. Uh, I have purchased uh, several eyepieces from the, a company, new company to me called Northern Optics. And uh, they have posted it yesterday and has arrived today. So I'm really delighted by that. And what is inside? This is the Olive One, uh, Olive One eyepiece SHR Zoom eyepiece, eight millimeter to twenty-four millimeter. Thirty-five pound. About this is a X display, is an offer, and was really good. What I am surprised is that there is something at the bottom of this. Let me just try it and extract it. Ooh, wow! That's the Northern Optics uh, Elkinson uh, binoculars, I think. And that's the Essential Optical Product Guide, Optical Vision OVL. Oh, I never got this catalog from anywhere. Now I have that. Oh, wow. What is this? Uh, product Guide Viking Optical. Oh, that's really good. And there is a little note from them, so... Let me just see. It compliments, never received such a big compliment. Another optical vision, they really are really superb service. They send me all these hard to find catalogs. Nowadays, you know that they expect you to just look at everything online. And this uh, Northern Optics. Gentlemen, send me everything. I ordered it in the, I think it was in the Monday. Uh, he packed it in the mo uh, Monday evening, it was. Tuesday, he sent it, packed it and sent it, posted it. And Wednesday, which is today, I received it. Really impressive service. And let me now open. I have that uh, Skywatch also. I received it from them. £55 everywhere else since £99. X display. And I got it now in just one day. Free delivery. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Free delivery, number one. <laughs> Northern Optics, go for that. And the gentleman was telling me that this uh, eyepiece, uh, zoom eyepiece, is just uh, a barrier removing, uh, what they call it, as a stop, fill the stop, is moving up and down. That's, uh, there is no element that, of lens that is moving. But I thought that was 35 pounds, that's, that's not bad anyway. I cannot uh, spend two hundred pound for getting a uh, other zoom lens. Look at it; it's bigger than what I thought. Look at the size. I had a zoom eyepiece, Presser one, nothing like this. This is massive. Look at the size, chunk, a chunk of. God, that is around three hundred grams. Oh, let me remove this cap. Look at it. I read good reviews about this actually. People say that it's as good as Celestron. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good. Big eye cup. Oh, also twist up eye cup. It comes up. Oh, really good, really good. They're made in the same factory. They're the same Chinese factory. No matter olive oil, butter, everything. They come from the same Chinese factory. That is impressive. So it is from 20 times to 60 times. That is really good. You can use it also with anything other than a telescope. You can use it with, uh, I think, with a spotting scope. Let me just put it on the telescope. Oh, I'm really impressed. The zoom of it actually is better than that breaster I had. It really zooms. You know, it does not, it's not that the field stop comes and blocks the light. Actually, zooms.
That's the image at the lowest magnification. I now go for the high, uh, highest magnification. Scavature SW, Scavature uh, yeah, 20, sorry, 80 millimeter refractor. And I'm zooming. So it's purple fringe as you see because of the telescope. Yes. I have to hold by both hands because the mount is a little bit slippery now at the moment. It falls down, the telescope moves. By the way, I'm, I'm really impressed by the build quality. It's massive eyepiece. It's robust and the turning of it is not as stiff. The best one I had was so stiff. You practically lose the object when you are trying to change the focus. Change the magnification. With this one, no such problem. And it goes from 20 times to 30, 40, and 50, and 60 times. Really robust IPS. This eye cup is an added bonus. Really good. It's quality. I'm telling you, this is a quality IPS. Use the its own at one scientific uh, plus hole, 28 millimeter. I've used this lantanium soligo, two and a half millimeter long eye relief IPS. This is actually a vixen. And uh, now I'm using the Olivon zoom lens, and I can say this is really good. Uh, I really recommend this. And now I've zoomed on the high, highest magnification 60 times, which is, is capable of. And I can see the planet Venus phases with this. I must say the mirror of this telescope, what I found in the autofocus when I looked at the, uh, the way that the secondary image, secondary mirror image in the, in the outline of the star, I can say that this is slightly off the collimation. It's not much, but it is, you can see it. And uh, the thing is that in this one, in the astro scan, you cannot collimate it. The mirror cannot be collimated, the main mirror, primary mirror. But in the Bushnell, you can actually collimate that. Well, anyway, that's the way it is. I must say, I must say, holding the camera against the eyepiece is very easy. Uh, with the telescope, I can see the phase of Venus, um, visually, I mean. With this, uh, you see it's blurred a little bit. The setting, uh, I cannot change the setting for the video, but I can change the setting for the camera. Well, it's quite nice, I can see. What I have found about the AstroScan telescope is that photography through IPIS here is so much easier than any other telescope. I cannot stop admiring this uh, Olivon zoom eyepiece. I got it from the Northern Notebook. It's such a quality, such a good quality. Is it is as sharp as um, twenty-four times when you go down to the eight time uh, eight millimeter, twenty-four millimeter to eight millimeter, which equals to sixty times to uh, twenty, thirty times here. That's an amazing eyepiece. It's such a big, like a 2-inch eyepiece. It's so huge. <laughs>